Hello and welcome to She the People. This is a special episode on why men matter to the idea of diversity. On the show today is Alain Chasari of Lufthansa, where majority of their sales team has women leadership right at the forefront. Alain, thanks very much for joining us. Um, I'm going to first ask you about the perspective on the India opportunity. Uh, we are a huge market. I know that India is looking pretty ripe for an aviation company like yours. Well, of course, India is a growth market like uh, any other uh, we've seen so far. So uh, we see that uh, international travel is doubling within two years. So the growth opportunities are enormous for us at Lufthansa and that's why we also wanted to expand into the Indian market and grow again. What does the India opportunity speak to you? I think it's not just uh, the first tier cities that have grown uh, in India, it's also the second and the third tier cities which we think have growth potential and opportunities. So we're looking at own organic growth, that's why we're bringing in more frequencies into India with a new service from uh, Munich to Bangalore uh, starting next spring. So we'll have over 60 flights uh, a week from uh, Germany, Switzerland into India, but we're also looking at the second tier and the third tier cities uh, through cooperations with Indian companies. How would you say digital has disrupted the entire travel business? Um, I wouldn't say, you know, I, I think we were having this conversation maybe about 10 years ago as well, but today the, what we call digital is transformational. We're talking about, you know, experiences, we're talking about experiences through gadgets, uh, through machine learning, uh, a lot of the work that's getting done in the back end. There are new procedures in place through artificial intelligence. I want you to take us through that juggernaut. I think uh, when we look back, an airline typically would just put a great schedule in their product in the air and then, then fly an airplane from A to B. I think now it's much more the traveler, um, or we all as, as travelers when we go beyond or abroad, we expect a digital uh, uh, experience uh, from, from the product that we buy. So it's not just the air travel itself, but we got to provide some customer service and, and digital uh, services along the whole travel uh, chain that starts from home really, first mile as we call it, up until the destination last mile. So it's, it's like seamless digital um, company that we need to provide. As a person who's trying to champion diversity as a man, what are the key things you remember to do? Well, my boss is a female, so I, I like that. So we're really supporting um, uh, female growth into uh, leadership positions uh, very much at Lufthansa. Why, why do we want to do that? Because we need the diversity in our, in our company. We have over 135,000 employees, so we really want to see that we are balanced. Uh, a company with uh, and bringing in different perspectives and different views and also accommodate a workplace that facilitates uh, uh, women in leadership positions. So I think setting the framework right, that's, that's the, the, the very beginning of it. I think right now we're, we're sort of uh, together in it, so you're right, uh, there's a lot of uh, men leadership still, but we want to, we have a clear ambition to, to be more balanced and so we want to create the framework so that female uh, leadership positions also cater for part-time employment, so that uh, there is a, a, a business and private life combinability, offer a different workspace so that we can, uh, that we can develop talents also from the female perspective. Uh, airlines have been offering non-binary gender options while uh, consumers go in for ticketing. What is your view on it at Lufthansa? Well, that's a very important part of our digital strategy, so we're working on that to offer. Uh, on all of our sales channels uh, exactly uh, uh, that proposition, so we're working on it right now. As, as somebody who has headed an aviation company for some time in, in the role that you have, how do you perceive um, your own role, what would you say have been like say three value systems that have stuck with you? Well, I, I think I'm a, uh, so I, if I pick my values, I would say I'm very ambitious So and, and you have to be that when you work out of the uh, uh, Asia Pacific market, I think, because here growth and ambition go hand in hand and uh, this ambition comes with responsibility, so I, I think my, one of my values would be to be responsible with the resources and everything we do with our company, with our people and with our guests. Um, I think those two are the, the main uh, value drivers in my, in my personal system. Elaine Chisari, thank you very much for joining us. Yes. All right, thank you very much for having me.